Good afternoon, I'm Nancy Parker. We're about to get a briefing on that massive oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Officials at the Unified Command Center in Robert, Louisiana are about to talk to us now. Let's check in with U.S. Rear Admiral Mary Landry. Command post in Robert, Louisiana. And in our three incident command posts in Houma, Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama, and Houston, Texas, where BP is designing an undersea collection device, as well as other leak securing efforts and offshore where efforts continue on our highest priority to secure the source of the spill. That is our mo most important task and we are tightly focused on it and BP will share some specifics in a few minutes. As you all know, this weekend Admiral Allen was designated by Secretary Napolitano as the National Incident Commander. And he and, the President, he and President Obama along with EPA Administrator Lisa Jackson visited with our responders and the local communities down in Venice, Louisiana. We very much appreciate their commitment to this effort, along with the entire national response team who has been on the job since the day the rig sank. This will help us at the regional level ensure that we can deliver the right resources in the right places at the right time for as long as necessary. We continue to aggressively execute and adapt our local and regional response plans to the on-scene conditions in accordance with the pre-existing, established, and exercise plans as required by the Oil Pollution Act of 1990. We are currently overseeing efforts by BP to test a proce procedure injecting dispersants directly at the source of the leak and hope today that the weather will allow us to conduct overflights to better evaluate the effect of this innovative technique never tried at these depths before. Last night, BP began actual drilling of one of the two relief wells, and we'll be telling you more about this. We currently have nearly 200 vessels responding on scene, including skimmers, tugs, barges, and recovery vessels to assist in our containment and cleanup efforts, in addition to nine remotely operated underwater vehicles. I commend the governors of Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Louisiana for their forward-leaning and proactive support in this team effort. We have state and local officials linked at every level of the response organization and working to ensure that we understand and address their specific needs and challenges and leveraged our, com our combined resources to the greatest effect. To that end, both the National Incident Commander and President Obama met with local parish presidents and mayors yesterday and spoke with them again by phone today promising them continued unparalleled coordination and to spare no expense in this intense and unrelenting response effort. In the past 24 hours, we have set up two additional staging areas to protect sensitive shorelines. We now have nine staging areas set up in strategic locations in all four of our potentially affected Gulf Coast states. We realize that the impacts of this incident will most immediately be felt by the local communities. BP is working actively within those communities to engage them, to organize training and use of volunteers, to explain what their efforts are all about, and federal responders are engaged at the grassroots level as well to understand and address the unique and important concerns of the local communities. And that feedback is essential going forward as we fight this unprecedented event together from the White House to the wellhead and every level in between. I'd now like uh, MMS to say a few words about their efforts. Thanks. Mike Soshin. Thank you, Admiral Landry. I'm Mike Soshin. I'm the head of field operations for the Minerals Management Surface Gulf of Mexico region. I'm speaking today on behalf of Lars Herbst, regional director of uh, the Gulf of Mexico region. Since the accident, uh, MMS has been working around the clock to ensure that BP lives up to its commitment to address the leak at its source, to respond to the oil spill, and to mitigate any possible impacts. As the Coast Guard has diligently led the federal response efforts, MMS has focused on three fronts in addition to controlling the source. These are investigation of the incident, issuing a safety alert to golf operators, and launching an immediate series of inspections on all deep water drilling rigs and platforms. I'm going to briefly touch on all three of these areas. Uh, MMS and Coast Guard immediately launched an aggressive investigation to determine the cause of the accident. There's, a, there's not a lot I can say about the investigation at this point. It would take some time before our investigators are able to say with any certainty what, ha what caused the explosion and subsequent leak. What I can tell you is that there is no, that no resource will be spared to ensure that every safety measure 
identified by our, by our investigation will be implemented to prevent a similar accident. In the meantime, MMS and the Coast Guard issued a joint safety alert to all operators and contractors in the Gulf. This safety alert compels operators and drilling contractors to, contractors to inspect their drilling equipment and review their procedures to ensure safety of personnel and protection of the environment. Finally, as many of you are aware, Secretary Salazar ordered an immediate inspection of all deep water rigs and platforms in the Gulf. MMS inspectors from every district have almost completed the inspections of the deep water rigs and will begin inspecting deep water platforms as soon as the rig inspections are complete. Now I'd like to pass it on to Doug Settles with BP. Thanks, Mike, and thank, thanks, Admiral. What I'd like to do is to provide you with an operational update on our activities and our plans. I should first deal with the recent news report that indicated that the work on the blowout preventer had, uh, re had reduced the flow. That report was inaccurate. I can assure you, as we've done continuously, that the Admiral and myself will be the first to inform you. As I told the Admiral, you would see me doing cartwheels down the hallway if that were actually the case. Um, the containment system work continues. Uh, we, will, we expect to load out the fabricated containment chamber tomorrow, and we hope to